Thanks everybody for turning up. Joel Ben here, business analyst in the services team. Uh, the next service um, is quite similar to the GetRoof CS um, service. Uh, it differs in the way that um, it actually returns uh, data formatted in JSON, um, which is another structured format. And by doing that, they can actually pick and choose the fields that they want to return in their queries. And it makes more lightweight, basically, so they can optimize the performance of their applications. They may just want a title and a brief description, let's say, for search results or something, instead of pulling back the whole RIPCS chunk for each record. The service itself allows um, simple spatial services searches as well. Um, and they can obviously do searches across the whole index that we have in, in Research Data Australia. So again, just the address, researchdataustralia.ans.org.au forward slash developers. The web services themselves, um, they're not as pretty because there's no real fancy front end to them. Um, there are little explanation diagrams um, for each, uh, I think nearly all of the, the services that we have, um, just showing sort of how they work. There's obviously the description and the use cases for each of the services, how people might want to implement them and the useful points about, about them. As you can see here, before you start, the one thing to note about the services themselves is that um, any developer that wants to use them actually has to register for a API key that they pass um, when they call them ser the services. And that's just a way of us knowing and identifying who's actually using the services. Um, you don't have to be a user with a log on to the registry. Um, you can just click the link and it'll take you to a publicly accessible page where you fill out the organization, the contact email, and why you want to use the, the API key. Um, and you click register and it will right there and then generate you a key um, to pass with the service calls. Uh, in much the same way as the widgets, we have tables containing all the parameters that can be passed to the services themselves. Um, and again, the developers will understand that and if they don't, they can get in contact via the community um, forum. There's a couple of, in some of the, the services, they're a little bit trickier. There's sort of some sort of FAQs or common questions about um, the services just to help out. Um, and a couple of example uses of uh, working um, service calls. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got.